careful. What is going on my friends welcome to today's video now i'm sure a lot of you saw a cool guys build video the tiger knee well how about today i show you the tiger uppercut that's right it's solar melees it's semi-plastic blooming the build is amazing i can't wait for you guys to see this before we get into it though we do have a quick word from today's sponsors let me tell you a couple three things about the best mobile game in the business that also happens to be free to play on both mobile and pc that's right, I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends, my friends. Use my links down below to download Raid for free right now on mobile or PC. There's a new clan boss, my friends, Hydra. Biggest boss ever, multiple heads and multiple mechanics, and top tier artifact rewards. This will challenge you to your limits, but it is well worth trying to topple. And if that wasn't enough, there's even more. Raid is giving away a super limited edition champion to every player in the game. Esports and Navi Superstar Simple. All you have to do is log in for 7 days between now and January 28th. And he's yours. Simple. On top of all that, Raid are releasing a spate of new champions along with a new crypt for my favourite faction, the Shadowkin. New Year's events and more, including special fusion events for one of Raid's newest champs. So what are you waiting for? Use the link down below or scan my QR code to get involved. You'll get a free mystery champion to kickstart things. I won't ruin the surprise of who the champ is. Just get in there and find out for yourself. All of this treasure will be waiting for you right here. And don't forget, these rewards are only available for the next 30 days and only for new players. Raid Shadow Legends. Get right into the action. Let the pictures tell you everything. I'm about to be a Sunspot Simon, a Soul Invictus Ian, you name it, mate. Immortal Blast Barry, that is your boy right now. We're also being a Tara Bateri. All right, that's the alliterations out of the way. We've got a short quarter that we have to meet in every video. So here you go. You can see I am crouching in a Sunspot and I have Ravenous Beast active. So the next person that peeks me, well, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt if I can just find someone. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Taraba was the weapon I decided to use with the build, with the Tiger Uppercut build right now. But it could be anything. That is the beauty of this build. You are not locked into any weapons. Whatever you use is going to be greatly enhanced by this setup. Because simply put, you get a melee kill and that's it. Or, you know, you burn someone to death with an incendiary and now you've got a sunspot. This thing is just all about damage buffs and being charged with light constantly. It is absolutely incredible. And Taraba being so high damage, I thought would just pair very well with damage buffs. Can you imagine Ravenous Beast and Sun Warrior together? Well, you don't have to imagine it. You're seeing it in front of you. Look at that. I melted him with Taraba and he left a sunspot in his wake. It is absolutely filthy, man. You're just leaving fire everywhere. There are sunspots all over the map. You're constantly charged with light. I get a melee kill. I get a double shoddy kill. I pick up an orb. Someone on my team pops a super. Obviously, I'm in rumble right now. But you catch my drift. There you go. Melee kill. Charge with light. Sun warrior active. 10 kill streak. Oh my god. This stuff is insane, my friends. It really is. And now I'm going to punch him. And look, he's on fire too now. The whole world is on fire. That is the, basically the gist of this build. It is a ton of fun. Every time, look at this, man. They just stay away. Hazardous. Listen, kids, don't play with fire, my friends. So when you see me in your lobby using this build, it's time to leave, my friends. It is time to leave. Look at that. Oh, my God. We're just setting the whole world on fire. This build is incredible. It really is so much fun. You need to try this out, guys. The Tiger Knee is crazy. The uppercut, though, the uppercut seems to leave damage all around the map. You know, it seems to leave lasting damage to the environment. And obviously, we, we love the environment here. But, you know, in-game, anything goes, my friends. Anything goes. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. This was so much fun. Now, I'm sure you guys are interested to see the build. 
And don't you worry, here we go. You guys have been patient enough, it is time to show you the power of the Fire Fist, my friends. Oh my god, the Shoryuken right here. Syntercepts is the key. Increase melee lunge range, improve melee and super damage when you're surrounded. Thermoclastic Blooming is the second key. Defeating a combatant with a solo or stasis melee creates an orb of power. But not only will we create an orb of power when we get our melee kill, thanks to the way Mortar Blast works on bottom tree hammers, striking an enemy with a melee ability releases a solar explosion, setting nearby enemies on fire. So if you had three guys grouped up and you syntho melee them, they would all die and they would all create sunspots. It is absolutely amazing. Solar abilities also restore your health. Grenade, melee ability and Sun Warrior kills leave a deadly sunspot in their wake. What exactly does Sun Warrior do? Passing through a sunspot causes your grenade and melee abilities to recharge faster and your super to last longer. It also increases the damage your weapons deal. Now that you've seen the build, let me break down for you everything that's going on here because there's quite a lot going on, okay? So we have quick charge, we get a double kill with a shotgun, we get charged with light. If we pick up orbs, we get charged with light. If we melee kill someone, we get charged with light. If we get a melee kill, a grenade kill, or a weapon kill while Sun Warrior is active, we leave a sunspot. Standing in the sunspot gives you 20% damage. Standing in a sunspot regens your abilities faster. Getting kills whilst having Sun Warrior active leaves another sunspot in your wake. It is just non-stop destruction. Now, one thing to note, Charge with Light and Sun Warrior do not stack. But what this basically does for you is guarantees you high damage. If Sun Warrior runs, uh, runs out, you will have charge with light to move on and get another kill. Basically, there's just constant uptime of damage buffs with this build. It is a ton of fun. We're not really using Sun Warrior for the damage in this build. What we're using Sun Warrior for, or rather the damage buff to your weapons, we're mainly using Sun Warrior for the ability regen and for the burn, because the burn is real deep, my friends. Being able to get a kill and then making that dead player drop a sunspot is so powerful and so slept on to this day that it really has, shit, to be, has to be emphasized to how powerful it is. And then say for example, Yo. right, I get a melee kill, okay? I'm in a sunspot, I have charge with light, I get a double kill with my Shayuras, I proc kill clip, I make an orb from the double, taking charge gives me more charge with light, I get a shoddy double, now I'm charged with light again. You see where I'm going. Oh, it is incredible. Shit. This build is a ton of fun. Oh my God, it's so crazy. much fun. And one of the best things about the build, and I already mentioned it, but I'm gonna mention it again, is that it doesn't matter what you use. It's really up to you. Now you can go absolutely optimal here. If you wanna go crazy with this, there is one thing you could do and that's use a swashbuckler weapon. Of course, a swashbuckler will take this up another notch, but I kind of don't have that many good guns with swashbuckler. I have a dire promise that I've used a ton in previous swashbuckler build videos, but I kind of just wanted to leave that on, on the side for this one. But yeah, if you were to run swashbuckler with this setup, you would be even better off. If you have like a weapon you love, and it has Swashbuckler, then go for it. In some of the clips, you will have seen me use a Retro Futurist, which is a lightweight shotgun of mine, and I have a very good roll on that that has Swashbuckler. So I did rock that a little bit, and boy, oh boy, does it hurt. But I almost felt like it was almost overkill at that point to use Swashbuckler, because, you know, we are rolling between two different damage buffs constantly Whoa, throughout the game. What, we either have High there? Energy Fire or we have Sun Warrior. So, you know, Stuff, basically we're good, right? We don't need much more than that. If I was to use my signature loadout at the moment, my igneous hammer for example i would basically if i were to run igneous hammer i think i would be two tapping oh, all game long because charge with light is going to let me two tap and sun warrior is going to let me two tap so it would just be a non-stop just a cascade of fire my friends it would be bloody amazing is what it would be i didn't really try that out too much though i messed with it a little bit using the You're igneous but me, huh? there's just so much choice Don't this is the other loader i was using retro futurist and crimson Crimson with the damage buff to 37 to the head, making it exceptionally powerful. And then obviously it's going to heal you as well. So with this weapon, I'm factoring in healing on top oh, of obviously of them, all of the damage buffs oh, that we're getting oh. and the ability regen. This there's so many things that you can use corner. with this build that would be synergistic. But my oh, advice no would be pair something hard hitting with this because you know it's giving you a damage buff and hard hitting weapons plus damage buff tends to be you know the most lethal combination. So, for example, Igneous, or for example, Taraba, or, you know, Dead Man's Tail, or, say, a Steady Hand with Swashbuckler, or something like that. You could get really, really crazy with this stuff. But, again, it's all up to you. If you wanted to rock, you know, a sniper rifle with this build, you could, because obviously the Syntho melee up close 
with say an SMG or a last word and then if you use a high impact sniper rifle and you're in a sunspot you're going to be almost body shotting people if they're low resilience I think you actually will be able to body shot them you know with fusion rifles you're going to be doing crazy stuff with the damage per bolt I'm looking at you timelines vertex and main ingredient you know there's so many options here with this build that's what's so fun about it what weapons do you like just take them with this build slap on synthos and get to work now technically you could use something else other than synthos but for me i don't know if people sleep on this but like synthoseps on bottom tree sunbreaker is exceptional my friends it really is the melee might be the best thing about this subclass and enhancing the melee with synthos just seems like a no-brainer as you can see so guys that is the tiger uppercut build hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to slap a like on the video drop a comment and let me know if you subscribed i would really appreciate it subscribe to your boy much love Check me out on Twitch, by the way, twitch.tv for slash shake. And join my Discord server as well. All the links will be down below in the description. Much love.